lost with a sense of what we see and feel and what to do next. The world today is full of phobia. Many are hopeless, empty, awaiting the unexpected. Everyone wants to know what the future holds. I hear a lot of people today, even in church, tell me, well, prophecy isn't my bag. I'm, I'm not really interested in prophecy. Well, if that is the case, then you would have to be not interested in the Bible because over a third of the Bible is Bible prophecy. The 2012 phenomenon was a range of eschatological beliefs that cataclysmic or transformative events would occur on or around 21st December of 2012. Everywhere you look, people are recognizing that significant changes are coming upon planet Earth. The popular news channels display on a daily basis bad news, causing many to believe that eventually everything will come to a sudden end. You just can't believe everything you hear. So the Bible I have recognized is historically accurate, archaeologically verified, and prophetically confirmed. But what you find from Genesis, the book of beginnings, to Revelation, the book of endings, you find a golden thread throughout these books. And what you find is not only unity, but you find a profound unity. The deeper it goes, the deeper it gets. Prophecy is all over the scriptures. Not only does prophecy give you a great hope, but it also gives you warning. It's my desire to share the prophetic word, to turn many agnostics, atheists, and scoffers, and to wake up sleeping saints to a saving faith in the Messiah Yeshua. We are looking at the final shaping of Earth's final movements towards eternity. The sure word of prophecy's ministry is to help believers to understand Bible prophecy, help prepare them for the return of Jesus, and to make an unarguable presentation to unbelievers that there is a God who knows the end from the beginning.